Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal versus Argentina. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, nice ball. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Now, who can he play it to? Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Giving the ball away. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. Rafael Leao. William Carvalho. And it's fallen for Ronaldo. And there it is. Living history. The opening goal of the 2022 World Cup final. Incredible celebrations. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such goal power. There's no stopping that. So the ball rolling again. With the score line standing at 1 0. Marcos Acuna just looking for the right moment for that final pass and they find a gap in the defence Lionel Messi and the advantage, that's a foul and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick Messi and the referee has awarded a corner following that touch cleared away Ronaldo and now Ronaldo with teammates in support Paredes Giovanni Lo Celso Martinez Di Maria. The fourth official has indicated there will be patience enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? Time. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Well, trying to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. Coming up on half time, don't be. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Marcos Acuna. Now they stopped them in their tracks. Di Maria. Here's Marcos Acuna. Well, can they open up the defence here? Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed, and the dream remains very much alive. Well, as we can see again, this is such a good cross from Di Maria, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. Back underway, level begging, one goal apiece in this game. Running with the ball confidently. He has teammates around him. Bruno Fernandes. And a goal to put them in front. Real drama here. Goal! 
so on with the match 2-1 is the scoreline what's going to happen next Paredes Giovanni Lo Celso Rodrigo De Paul Messi And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Both substitutes have been getting ready. Will come on at the same time. And the problem not completely solved. Excellent defending. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. But now it is going to be a free kick after the second infringement. Joao Cancelo. Just 10 minutes to go. Otamendi. Martinez. Good use of advantage by the referee. But a second foul after the first one. And so no advantage there. Free kick. Danger averted. Well, that was a beautiful challenge from William Carvalho. Can he finish? And not quite accurate enough, Stuart. Well, I think he should do better there, but at least they're now knocking at the door. Silva. And now it's all over! We've witnessed history! Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time! Well, they've been kings of Europe, now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. Trip giving me hope and solution, hope and solution. Maybe I should've known that it.